What's up fam? Welcome back. Today I am going to be doing another makeup look with you guys and I think I'm gonna go a little bit dramatic today but if you are new here hello thank you for joining me and if you are already part of the fam hello how are you? Thank you. Welcome back. So I don't want to talk too much. All I know is that this look is gonna get dramatic okay. Without further ado Begin. You guys, I'm going to be chewing gum today. If you do not like to hear people chew gum, then this may not be the video for you. Now, I'm not gonna go wild. At least I don't expect to go wild, but this is something that curves my appetite, so yeah. So I'm gonna be chewing a little bit of gum, okay? But we don't judge here on Mina's Daily Dose. We don't. We do not judge. Okay, so I've already cleansed my face. I am going to link my skincare routine up here so you guys can check that video out. I just posted it. I don't have any moisturizer on yet. So for moisturizer, I am going to be using some rose water. Next, I'm gonna go on with some primer water by Smashbox. So for my foundation, we already know what I'm using. I'm using my NARS Radiant Longwear Natural Foundation. Did I say out of order? I did. And I am in the color Cadiz. Start off with just one pump on here. And we are going to work it into the skin. Because I'm using natural light, it tends to be a little bit more brighter. So I had to turn down the aperture just a little bit. So that's how far one pump went. So I'm doing two more, okay? And I want to make sure that it's blended in very well. Using for me like NARS foundations in general. I also like the NARS um, Sheer Glow. I definitely need to get that again. So now it's time to put on some concealer and I have been using this for a while and I love it. And this is my Naked Skin Concealer. I am using the color Medium Dark in the warm category warm category okay today we are going dramatic right yes and the reason why is because i am trying to prep myself for my drag makeup tutorial so i think i mentioned this in my last makeup video but i did a poll on my instagram and I will put my name somewhere here on the screen for you. And I was like, you know, what type of look do you want to see next? Do you want to see a drag inspired makeup look or do you want to see a celebrity inspired makeup look? And drag inspired makeup look one. So I am going to be doing a drag inspired makeup look. So my makeup tutorials are going to build up to that point. As we go along, they're going to get more and more dramatic until I feel comfortable actually completing a drag look, if that makes sense. One thing I see drags do is that they do their contour and highlight. They place all it down at the same time. And I've done that before in the past as well, but um, that's what I'm gonna be doing today. Okay. I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette to chisel these cheeks. I'm going to go in with the middle color and we are going to chisel. So like I said, my makeup looks are going to build up to the drag look. So this is a little bit more dramatic than my last makeup tutorial that you saw. I'm just trying to make sure I get everything right. And then I also want to brighten up my under eye a little bit. So I'm going to put this color just closer to the inner. 
part. Now it's time to blend, honey. Okay, blend for your life. She looking crazy? Yeah, she looking crazy. So now we're going to bring that dimension back and blend out the cream contour, honey. This one of them I ain't coming to play type of looks, okay? So whatever I don't like, I'll fix with powder, but I'm not going back in with any more of that darker color. So now I'm just gonna go and make sure everything's blended out. And I need to start setting because this stuff will crease. I'm just going to go in my Kat Von D Shades and Lights palette. And I'm going to go into this pan right here, which is almost non-existent, okay? But we're gonna try. Blend out the creases. We're gonna set our face. Ugh, I love this shade. Oh my goodness. I believe they sell it in a loose powder as well. Now, so I gotta definitely go pick it up, honey. Okay, I'm gonna scrape the pan again. We're gonna set the other eye. It's like the perfect tone for my skin. I said I wanna go a little bit dramatic, so I am going to cut my lid a little bit higher. So I'm going to start off in the middle. Okay, that's where my crease would usually be. And then I'm going to go directly up. So what I want this to do is I want it to make the bridge of my nose thinner and make my eyelid space larger. All right, so I am done and looking crazy. Yes, that's what we want, right? 
pretty much made them as even as I can. And so you see that I kind of brought it down a little bit. That's not saying that that's going to be part of the eye look, but it is going to chisel my nose down. So I'm just going to blend as so to start building up the outer corner and the crease i am going to use this beautiful shade right here it's like a brick red but it is really pretty building this color and also building my lid space so i want my eyes to come out a little bit more And this is not a drag inspired look, but like I mentioned earlier, I am building up to doing that look. So I wanna make sure that I'm in a way practicing their technique. And so I know that they take a lot of their color out further. And they create a like, that type of look. So I'm just going to build that up to my liking. Yes. And then I'm gonna take this a little bit more right here. This is a beautiful color. And I am using Beauty Treats Modern Matte Palette. Such a great palette, it was $4.99, and I mean, it is amazing. So now we're going to start building that up, and I'm going to go in with a darker color. I'm going to go in with this brown shade right here. using the same brush. And even pulling it out even more. So when you start to add that darker color, it's going to pull and you're going to be able to see that pull just a little bit more. I'm going to start off with this shade right here, and it is called Buzz, and this is out of the Naked 3 palette. I'm going to start that at the end, and then I'm going to use Dust out of that same palette, and use that more so on the inner corner. Alright, so both eyes are done. Now I'm going to use the other end of that brush, which is a little bit more dense, and just kind of blend everything together. Okay. Then I'm going to go back in with that red-ish color. Y'all, on the lower lash line, I want to do a little bit of color, and so I'm going to go in with this little Avon eyeshadow here, and it is in green, and so I'm going to 
place that on the lower lash line and see how it looks, okay? I like it like that. I want to take it a step further and I want to really up the dramatic aspect of this look. So I'm going to take that green, I want to bring it out even further. And I'm going to blend it. I'm just going to do that until the intensity is built to my liking. just adds a different flair to the look. So now I'm going to go ahead and prep my lashes with some glue. And we all know what lashes I'm using, okay? I'm using my Deluxe Beauty Vault lashes. And these are in the style Diamond. And so I'm going to prep them. I will have a link down below to my girl, my friend here, Lisa Ann Mari, and these are her lashes. So I'll put all of the information below where you can go buy them. And I usually get a code from her. So make sure you periodically check back on my makeup video videos or play close attention when I'm doing my lashes because I may let you guys know that there's a discount code, okay? Maybe a discount code enough for you. So I'm going to let these dry, but while I let those dry, I'm going to be even more extra. And I'm gonna add Glitter. Let's put on these lashes. Look at these. Oh my God. These lashes are just so bomb. You guys need to get some, okay? You need to get you some lashes, okay? So I'm going to use my e.l.f. Contour Blush and Bronzer, and this is in St. Lucia, okay? I'm just going to use that bronzing shade and start bronzing up the face. Start bronzing up, honey. And 
one thing that drag queens do, they contour really, really heavy. So I'm not going to go so heavy in this video, but I'm definitely going to chisel. I'm gonna bring my contour in just a little bit further today. So for blush, I'm going to be using that same blush that's in this palette. So now it's time to highlight and we're all excited about my highlight. Today I'm going to be using something that I've used in the past and it's actually an eyeshadow. So since this is more so a dramatic look, I was like, yeah, I'm using that today. I'm using that. This is a NYX Ultra Pearl Eyeshadow. We are going to highlight, honey really get that highlight popping. I'm gonna bring it up into that green. Amazing, okay. Put some on the tip of my nose. Look at that. Look at that child. Then I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Heels Aruba Glow Kit and I'm going to take this green shade right here. I don't know if you can tell. And I'm going to tap that all over my lips and this should be pretty epic, okay? All right. 